Last week on Ron Sailing, we started the preparations for our new mast. The main sail was set on a furler in Then we moved the boat 35 nautical miles north to Viken, where we will do the mast change. November is here, and the weather is grey, damp and cold. The days are getting shorter here on 56 degrees north, and it just gets harder and harder to get up in the morning. It gets darker down below as well, so we start the days by switching on the lamps to get some light, and then we have breakfast. Heading out for a walk now. I think we're gonna try and see if there is a playground around and uh, do some grocery shopping. And then I think Yuan will try to start what do you say, dismounting or taking down or preparing <laughs> yeah. to remove the mast. Uh, the crane is scheduled for Tuesday, so we have today and tomorrow to prepare everything. or the bay, as the English translation would put it. It's a fishing village dating all the way back to the 1500s. It's a really cozy little village. So many old, uh, pretty houses. It's a quite big uh, village, bigger than I thought. So the sun has come out and I will think I will try to remove the hydraulics today. Well, this hydraulic vang is quite special in that way that it has... Um, there is high pressure gas inside of it. So there is only one line uh, with pressurized oil from the hydraulic pump and then when you release the pressure there's compressed gas inside here that lifts the boom. So all that gas that is under pressure inside the van here is, is what is lifting the whole boom with the sail and everything. So you can imagine that there needs to be a lot of pressure in here to hold up all this weight. So it's not something that you just open up that can actually be quite dangerous, I think. So I think they have a special jig at the shop where they do the service on these, where they can hold it together while they release the pressure or something. But I don't know, I have never done it. It looks like there are some threads on this pipe around here, but I'm not sure where the actual filling place is for the gas. Ah, it's probably here. So I'll be able to get this off now. I need to put the topping lift on the boom and lift the boom up so this vang is fully extended before I can release these bolts. Well, 
need to a bit more. I can't use the winch right now because I have this instead of the backstay, this halyard. Yeah, now there's no pressure on it. Obviously, this wasn't necessary to get the new stack pack. So we'll try to sell it together with the whole mast and the old sails. See if we can get something for it. Håkan and his son helped you on to get the main sail down. They pull out the battens and fold the sail, which will be stored in Håkan's greenhouse, together with the rest of the sails. Vera and I made tacos for dinner. So, another day, and today we're removing the boom, the two whisker poles, and I will uh, prepare the turnbuckles so they're easy to undo tomorrow when the crane is coming. I just heard from Helkan and the crane is coming half past seven tomorrow morning, so pretty early. So, we have to have everything ready by then. Håkan came by to drop off some parts for the new mast. Then they removed the whisker poles and the boom. When I do this, I try to always use correct tools. Never use a screwdriver through the body because it's quite easy to deform the turnbuckle if you do this. So the correct way, use correct tools. And if you need to use a screwdriver, put it up here and don't through the body. The forecast for tonight is 30 to 35 knots of wind, so I won't take off too much of the pressure now. I was finally done outside, but there were still a few things to prepare down below. So we need to deassemble parts of the table to make it easier to get the mast out and also deattach the cables and the bolt at the bottom of the base, uh, the base of the mast and remove this cover. like new down here. <laughs>
we're getting ready to go out and uh, remove the mast. The crane is here like in in 15 minutes. So it's just uh, a quarter past seven early morning. But uh, it's good that uh, there's not as um, much wind as yesterday. It was really windy last night. Uh, but it has come down a little bit, which is good now when we'll remove the mast. Um, so, yeah, it's exciting, a little bit mm. nervous mm. because of the wind. Mm. Oh, yeah, push. Mm. Oh, it's pretty cold today. Uh, the wind has dropped a lot since yesterday, like Malin said, but also the temperature. So we're on, the crane is here, and now we get started. So we have removed the inner stay, and now we will lift the whole mass with everything else attached. We're releasing the shrouds and removing the covers. One of the pros with a keel-step mast is that it will still stand even if the shrouds and stays are loosened. The mast on round 2 is quite heavy, so it was hard to keep the mast base centered so it wouldn't damage the table. Most of the fixed mast cranes in our region are too small for our mast. And having a mobile crane doing the lift makes this job a lot safer and easier in my opinion. The lift went smooth without any damages, despite the windy conditions. So it was a big relief once it was lying down on the trailer. I just realized that it's like almost a year ago since we bought the boat and we did the survey and that was also like we had so much wind that day even windier than much windier than today but it's, it's fun a year ago since we bought the boat now we're doing some major upgrades and uh, then we're gonna go sailing now we're taking off everything loose on the mast so it will be a bit easier to transport it to, to Hoka's place. We have removed the spreaders and we'll remove all the space and the, the shrouds. Perfect. Radar is off. Uh, on the next mast we won't have it in the mast, we will have it uh, on the back stage instead. She looks so empty now. <laughs> we put a bucket on over the hole. The road leading down to the harbor in Viken is both narrow and winding, so I was glad it wasn't me driving. We're on our way to Håkan now. It's over there. So we're gonna keep the mast at Håkan's place, which is really nice, because we don't have any other place to put it.
So another day working on the boat, preparing for our new mast. And today it's time to remove the old deck ring. So this is the new deck ring that will sit here. But first we need to remove the old one. And the problem is that the inner flange here inside the boat, it's in stainless. They have uh, glued that together with the outer ring that sits on top of the deck here. Because I can't get to the nuts inside of here uh, without removing that inner ring. Worst case scenario, I have to drill all these bolts out. I just wanted to show you how big the salon looks now when there's not a mast sticking down. It's definitely looks more roomy, feels more roomy, but um, it's good to have a mast that goes all the way down to the keel or keel step mast as it's called. We will enjoy these days with uh, the, all the room in the salon. <laughs> yeah, so I have to drill the, the bolts out. There's no other way. At least I have to drill these two out and maybe I can cut these two from the side. It's never easy to drill stainless with uh, aluminium around it. But in this case, I guess I've been quite lucky with at least with these two bolts that I managed to get the hole in the center of the bolt. After a lot of work the mast ring finally gave way and came off. So the problem now is to remove this inner ring here, this stainless ring. And uh, it's put in place with sealant on the inside and I need to remove it so I can put bolts through on the new ring. Um, so I will try to use this tool to yeah, cut through the sealant so I can uh, get the ring off, see if that will work. We're hiding in the back because it's so noisy. It seems to be working. So now we'll remove the screws that holds this in place on the inside. They're still there so it can't just drop down. This roof is quite sensitive on the inside here, so of course we don't want to make any damage to that. So we'll see if we have to make a new ring, new stainless ring like this, or if we can just make some alterations on, on this one. That worked out pretty good. There you can see the bolts. Whew, a really intense project is now in full run. Stay tuned for next week's episode to watch the progress. Thank you for watching this episode. Thanks to your contributions, we can produce these videos on our own terms. Join the crew if you would like to support our production.